Hey everybody, welcome to Sawtail Gamer, where we're on an airsoft journey and we're sharing everything we learn on the way. Today we're gonna play a little game. Just the tip, just for a minute, just to see how it feels. No, but seriously, today we've got two guns that we wanna ditch the tip from because we wanna make some external modifications to them. So we figured what better opportunity to go over how these tips are attached to your gun because we've removed quite a few of these and there's really three main ways that these are attached to your gun, especially if it's an M4 variety with a birdcage. By the end of this video, you'll know how to recognize exactly how yours is attached to your gun and exactly how to remove it. And as a bonus, we'll also share the modifications that we're making to our guns. So stay tuned. Welcome everybody. If you bought your airsoft gun in the US, chances are pretty high you've got an orange safety tip on it. And if the tip doesn't bother you, then by all means leave it on there for safety. But if you're going for that Milsom look, or if you want to put a different kind of flash hider on there, or an amplifier, or mock suppressor, or if you just really want that ugly orange thing off of there, we're going to quickly show you how to do it. And by all means, if you take the orange tip off your airsoft replica, please transport it in a bag or a case. Do not brandish your airsoft replica in public without an orange tip. M4 slash AR-15 style guns are by far the most popular airsoft weapons out there and most of these are going to have what's called a bird cage flash hider on them that looks something like this. Now you might be able to find a video out there on YouTube that is specific to your exact model of airsoft gun and if you can that's great you should definitely follow one specific to your gun. But generally speaking there's three ways these flash hiders are attached so we'll boil it down for you here in one video and talk about all three. If you look around the base of your flash hider, you're going to see one of three things or a combination of the three. First, if you see a single Allen screw and no other indentations or circles or pins or anything like that, then you're golden. You can take that screw out with an Allen key and then screw off the flash hider with a wrench counterclockwise. If you have a pin like this one, you'll know it by a smooth metal surface, or it could be underneath an indented circle where it's been filled over with plastic. Well, if you have this, then congratulations, you've got the more complicated removal. And when you have a pen, you could have a pen by itself, or it could be a pen com combined with a screw, or it could be combined with the third thing, which is glue. Generally speaking, you've got to remove enough plastic from around this pen so that you can get a hold of it with some needle nose pliers or a pair of tweezers or whatever it may be and just, and just pull it out. Uh, you can Dremel away the pin. Um, I've heard that you can, in some cases, you can actually punch it straight through the barrel with the nail if there's a hole underneath the pin, although I've not ever seen that particular case, so I wouldn't recommend it. I've actually seen videos where people have burned away the plastic, and again, don't recommend that. For the ones that we've removed, we've just used a small drill bit and drilled out a little circle around the pin until it literally just fell out, or we could easily grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and just pluck it right out of there. Now there is a third way that these are attached, and that's with, with glue. If you don't have a single Allen screw and you don't have a bolt, you probably are going to have glue. And that's really the uh, easiest one to take off. You can simply force it off with a pair of pliers. If you don't want the teeth of the pliers to tear up the, the orange flash hider or put scars, then you can either hold the tip in hot water for 10 minutes, or you can blow the tip with a hair dryer for about 10 minutes, just long enough to loosen up that glue underneath the flash hider so that you can easily unscrew it. And we've never had to do that. We don't. I don't really care about the orange tip. I don't care if it gets all chewed up because I'm, I'm never going to use it again. So we just force it off. Now you can have a combination of all three of these. You could have a flash hider. In fact, we've had multiple flash hiders that have had an Allen screw, a pen, and been glued on. You know, check for all three of these. You could actually have all three of these. All right, so let's get ready to remove this flash hider. We wanna put all of these accessories onto this gun. We're going for a little bit of a red theme here. We're gonna put this red amplifier on to replace the uh, orange tip. We're gonna put this red hand stop and we're gonna put these red Picatinny rail segments. It's gonna be a nice, nice red theme. Now I'm, I'm just gonna use this uh, small drill bit to drill away some of the plastic from around the pin. I'm not going very deep, I'm just going to use my thumb to work it around the edge of the pen and take a layer of plastic away. So now that we've drilled away some of the plastic on the perimeter of the pen, 
can easily get a pair of needle nose pliers down into the recess and clamp down on the pin and pull it right out. And that's all there is to it. Now I noticed on the other side of this birdcage hider that there's a little indention that looks like it might have a pin underneath it, so I'm going to drill down into it, just barely, just enough to get some of the plastic out so I can look down in the hole in it. It actually turns out that uh, there's not a pin in there, so we're good to go. All, all we have to do now is, is uh, break the glue and screw it off. And of course, as we mentioned, using a pair of pliers to break the glue and screw it off is definitely gonna, gonna chew up the orange plastic. So if you don't wanna damage the flash hardware, you can just use one of those heat methods with either hot water or a hair dryer for about 10 minutes. Otherwise, you just unscrew it with a pair of pliers and you're good to go. Of course, it is a little bit chewed up and it's got some holes in it, but if I ever wanna travel with it and just use this as a safety tip, it's still usable. And now we'll try not to take too much time, but we're going to put on all of our goodies. Now we want to remove the flash hider from the Crytek Trident Mark II CRV. And because the threads are recessed into the handguard a little bit, we actually have to take the handguard off. You just simply take the little Allen keys off the bottom of the handrail. Then you're going to slide the handrail off, slide it forward. You make sure you grab this little spacer and set these both aside carefully. And then you're good to go. Now again, this, this particular flash hider just has an Allen screw, so um, we're going to unscrew it very carefully. You know, if we want to keep it, just set it aside somewhere where you know you won't lose it. And once again, we're going to try to unscrew it, see if it's glued on there. It does appear to be glued, so... Again, we're just going to take a pair of pliers and we're going to break the glue. Same as before, if you don't want to damage your flash hider and chew it up with the teeth of the pliers, uh, you, know, you know, hold it under some hot water for 10 minutes or blow it with a blow dryer for 10 minutes. We don't really care about it getting chewed up a little bit, so we're just going to break the glue with the, with the pliers and then uh, screw it off by hand from there. So now we're just going to put the handrail back on, secure it, make sure to put that spacer back in there so that we can get to our Mad Bull Black Side mock suppressor and put that sucker on there. It just screws right in counterclockwise. Now if you have one of these, it needs to be 30 millimeters or less in order to fit down into the recessed handguard. And it looks awesome. And now you know all three things to check on your flash hider to understand how it's attached and how to remove it. So thanks for sticking with us and make sure you join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.